Now, are our, are our special guests ready to, uh, to join us? We have some Utah Jazz uh, ownership here to join us. Um, one of the youngest owners in the NBA, Ryan Smith, and our old buddy, also part of the ownership group, Dwayne Wade. Hey, I want all the smoke, too. You want all the smoke? I want all the smoke. You're going to get all the smoke. <laughs> You, you know exactly right. where I'm going. Whatever you want, D Wade. I'm playing well, right? You're a legend like yourself. You can stand anywhere you want. Yes. Hey, Ryan, what's, you, what's it mean for you right now to see? Holy cow. It's just, it hadn't even started yet, but it already feels like oh, it started. Word. This is exactly what I was picturing Utah showing up. And that's the one thing you're going to see. Everyone's ready, and we show up. D Wade, we would be remiss if we did not talk about the product on the floor here in Utah this season because look this was the projections were what all oh, this team might win 23 or 24 games you've already surpassed that you're already right there looking at playoff contention play in contention what's the what's been the secret well you got to give all the credit to coach will and his coaching staff coach will hardy um the youngest he's a star he's like 34 years old yep. um and so the first day of training camp when we came in he set a precedent he set a tone for how the future is going to look in Utah. And we all walked out of there day one and said, this is one of the best experiences we've been around of watching a young coach really put his horns in his team and everyone respect him. And so you see the way they play. Everyone plays with that kind of that toughness that what Will brings his team, his team brings the same. Well, you had a young coach. I did. Spolstra. Yes, sir. Compared to, give me a comparison between Spolstra style and his style. Oh, I can't do that. Style. And I can't do that. Not like who's better, just different style. Like well, I said, it, like I said Mike, in the locker room. I said in the locker room, locker room with Spo. Yeah, I haven't said in the locker room with Will okay, yet. Okay, but, all right. But you see the way that the Jazz are playing okay. this year, and no matter the turnover, no matter what's been going on on the outside, that's that's Will. That's the Utah. That's that's the state, right? It's, they're trying to build what the state is by what's on the what's on the floor. So it's I want to know who had that conversation with Laurie Markham. Like, I know they say he went overseas and he came back a demon, but somebody has had the conversation with him, like, you're the man, this is your team, we're going to build around you, because he's playing incredible right now. Yeah, I think it's a lot of conversations. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a few conversations, but there's not many seven-footers who shoot like that, and we saw it overseas this year, and, like, when the, when the trade came around, that was, like, a big piece. Chuck? Well, I mean... I, not, that, not, that often, gonna, not often you got a no, prompt no, Chuck well, to talk. Well, Jeez. well when, when, uh, when he took my question, because um, when you made the trade, everybody says, oh, the, dra the Jazz are getting draft picks, they're building for the future. Then you get Laurie, and, man, it, it would have been a disgrace if he didn't make the All-Star team, to be honest with you, because he deserves it. Hey, Ryan, let me ask you this, too, because, look, the spotlight of the, of the NBA world, spotlight of the world, falls on this city this week. Um, what do you want folks to know who think, uh, oh yeah, Utah, Salt Lake City, skiing, and uh, uh, fill in the blank. What is, what is Salt Lake Give City passion, to you? Give them that passion, Ryan. Give them that passion. I know. No, look, uh, we haven't had the All-Star game in 30 years. It's a completely new place. I mean, look around. We're the youngest state in the country. Um, there's a lot of things. I mean, states have a problem owning different things. The one thing we own is innovation here. You're going to see a lot of innovation. This is the first full digital all-star game. It's the most tech forward all-star game. And I think you're seeing a lot of hope in this state. And um, if you look at the growth, we're always in the top 10 for the fastest growing state. You compound that over five years. Plus, you've got 250,000 college kids within 40 miles north, 40 miles south. That breeds innovation and everything that's going on. And so. Um, just growing up here as a kid, coming to jam session, like yeah. you can't make this up to be in this spot and hopefully everyone can just have an amazing time. You're 44, 45 years old. 44. Right? 44, 44 years old. One of the, 44? One of, one of the youngest owners that, in, 42. Yeah, in the NBA. That so, was two years ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> 42 plus 2 Ryan, is 44. Yeah, yeah. My bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, so that's, you, that's, that's you were 40 then, now you're 42, yeah, right? No, right. I was 39. I'm oh, 41 yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Because uh, you can look at Matt Ishbia, yeah, yeah. Uh, the youngest in Phoenix, uh, Robert Perra in, yep. in Memphis. What is it that you younger owners want to inject into this league? You're already the only 
owner wearing a hat on backwards. But, <laughs> but uh, what, what do you want to inject into this league? So first of all, like the league's in an awesome spot. Are you kidding me? Like, like the brand of the NBA and where it's going, like it's, it's incredible. And just to be a part of it, it's just, just a blessing. Um, I think for us, like we know the power of the NBA and the community and what it can do. And so, you know, we're a media company, if you think about it that way. And like we want to help build the brand of the state and the community and do all the good things we can with the league and bring a championship to Utah. And that's most important. He knows how to work a room. Ryan Smith, Dwayne Wade, a hand, please. Who is our guests? Stroke, stroke a hole. Okay. Stroke a hole. Okay. Anytime you want. Anytime. It's on. Hey, hey, Ernie. Yeah. What'd you I'm, say? I, I'm down at Augusta. I'm, yeah. down, I, I'm down at Augusta. I'm nervous to play for my first time. And this dude is there. He gave me a hard time. I'm already nervous. I've never played Augusta before. And he's down there. He said, oh, Chuck, don't worry about it. You're good. You're going to play well. He's a really good golfer. I want all this smoke, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stroke a hole anywhere. Like, we got it. That's the deal. Matt. It's been there for three years. He said TNT was going to show up. It hasn't showed up yet. Let's Ryan. Go. Oh, Ryan, have a, have a great week, man. Good luck I to you. Guys. Thanks Thanks you guys. Great. great to see you. Be wait. Anytime you want to come back and work for TNT, we're, we're waiting on you. Not no. Shaq. Keep wearing that. I can't be next to that. I don't know what that is. What material? I don't even. Draper. If you're um...